How is it when you see like Ronnie Coleman and like you, see, you watch the, the his documentary was at Netflix? Yeah, yeah. And you absolutely. watch it and you kind of think, "Fuck me!" Like you kind of feel sad as well. Like obviously he lived the life that he wanted, <clears throat> he got the results that he wanted. But I, you know, I, I look at Ronnie and I think it must be tough to be to be like that. You know, especially as he be so active. But credit to Ronnie. He's handling it well. He's, he's laughing and he's smiling, and he seems to be okay. And uh, maybe it's the same thing as I was just saying. Ronnie Coleman is eight times Mr. Olympia. He did an amazing thing with his life, and uh, people won't forget that. You know, his name will go on forever. So maybe he figures that's a price that was worth paying um and, you know i've been stubborn myself in the training it's just push 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 because that's that's the nature of a champion but it can become self-destructive at some point and you've got to know when to change lanes which is difficult for people especially if they have an image of themselves i'm mr olympia i'm this guy and that's who i am no, who you are can be evolving all the time. It depends on who you think you are. That's who you are, who you think you are. And um, I realized about five or six years ago, I was still doing the bodybuilding lifestyle. Um, not the steroids, but, you know, the lifestyle, the training, the diet and everything like that. I was about 18 and a half stone and uh, went for a checkup and my blood pressure was getting a bit high. And I said, like, I just... You need to change. I changed my diet. Uh, I started doing yoga and cycling and fitness training. And I purposely lost muscle. But I didn't care anymore because I'm like, I don't need it. I don't need that. It's not serving me anymore. I need to be able to be mobile and fit. And I don't want to be in pain. And I don't want to be, uh, you know, disabled. This is the only vehicle I've got to experience life in and if it's not working properly the quality of life and the experience is not so good 